Another way to hack loneliness that can have wide-ranging positive effects on your well-being. And it's one of the simplest of all. Just get outdoors. We all know that going outside can be almost instantly relaxing. Why is that? Our ancestors evolved amongst the flowing shapes and patterns of nature. Today, our minds still process natural forms more efficiently and easily. Spending two hours a week in nature can lower a person's stress levels, decrease blood pressure, boost mental health, and even increase life expectancy. But wait, there's more. There's a way to hack this hack. You can get even more out of vibing with nature if you visit a place you feel connected to. To explain, I'm meeting Buruburongo woman Karen Smith at a very special location down the road from my place. Now, Lily, uh, this is what I wanted to show you. It's quite an extensive engraving site. Like many places across the country, this site has been treasured by generations of First Nations people. So you have the story of the whale's journey up and down the coast reflected on the rock engravings all the way through the Northern Beaches area. We know that the Gayumagal people would have been walking on this rock and making this engraving. And that connects me back to those people. You can almost hear them. The fact that this has survived in this incredible urban environment is a bit of a miracle. And I think it's due really to the people in the street who have always loved this engraving and have looked out for it. Whether it's a rock art shelf or a footy club, places hold significance for people. Well, you must be the residents of Gumbuya. Yes, we are. All right. How does the significance of this place help bring you guys together as a community? I think just because it's so beautiful, it's so quiet, it's so meaningful to everybody, and I think that might be the answer. You know, we just love it here, yeah. Um, what do you like about this area? Uh, it's really fun to just sit under the trees and eat lollies. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, the locals are attached to this place, and it seems to have amplified their spirit of community. You trust each other? Yes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> There's a few house keys that I think are swapped. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly, I'd love to give you one of these. It's a description of all the carvings. Wow. You know, we come from different communities. There's many people from different countries here. And to think that there's all these people in this street who are keeping an eye on this site is just amazing. The study of place attachment is just decades old. But it may have been a bedrock of human society forever. When you have your culture taken from you, sites connect us to our ancestors. Sydney was said to have the biggest rock art gallery in the world, and so much of it's been destroyed, and Aboriginal people they also realise that we need all Australians to look after these places. So if we can all work together to protect and respect these places, it would be incredible. We have a lot to learn from being connected to country. Taking an interest and really noticing what's around you builds a sense of belonging, not only to where you live, but who you live there with. <laughs>